Mike Bond here at Bellator 286 Media Day with Lance Gibson Jr. And uh, Lance, I know you, you've got to be happy to just be fighting Saturday, right? I know you had an opponent change and everything. Was any of that frustrating to you? Uh, you know, it's a part of the game. Like, it's part of mixed martial arts. Sometimes you lose opponents. Uh, sometimes they change last minute. Sometimes they back out. I'm happy to be in here. That's, that's all I can say. And I'm ready to go on Saturday night. Obviously, it was supposed to be Chris Avila, right? Like, he does have some but some clout around his name, though, right? Because, like, the Diaz crew. Like, is that something you look forward to, at least, knowing that, like, you beat an opponent like him? A lot more recognition comes with him. Uh, yeah, you know, it's it, it was all good. It's It, it was exciting uh, having him as an opponent. But uh, if he comes back around, that, that'd be awesome. And uh, I'd love to do it and, and get in there and show, show the world what my skills are like. So you hope they put that one back together sometime down the line? Yeah, if it, if it happens, if Bellator puts it together, that I'd be, I'd be more more than happy of doing that. So, What kind of uh, tweaks did you have to make when the opponent did change? Are you the type that uh, doesn't really matter who it is, you just follow your training and your game plan? Uh, you know, my, my coach is both my dad and uh, Julia both just were like, you know what, just focus on yourself. Uh, my skills, I'm really well-rounded, well so... Uh, if anybody's watched me in my fights, they know I'm extremely well-rounded and I got skills everywhere. So I just sharpen all those tools and come in there ready to go on Saturday. Um, how do you feel Bellator is bringing you along right now? Like, are you happy with the progress? Are you, do you feel like you're ready for maybe a different kind of leap after this fight? Like, what are you kind of looking at the trajectory uh, with this fight to maybe close the year and then going into next year? You know what? I, I just One thing I know about myself is I'm just get improving every single time I step in there. Uh, I'm showing new facets, like new aspects of, of my game, and uh, I'm getting better and better every training session. So I'm I'm open to whatever the the universe uh, brings me and God brings me. So uh, it's an honor to be in, in Bellator and and be able to be successful in Bellator and, and continue winning and continue my undefeated streak. Is there, um, you know, is there a timeline in your own mind though? Like, this is when I want to start fighting rank guys. This is when I hope to have, you know, this and this. Um, like, I'm sure you do have goals, right? For as far as how you want to progress. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, w I want to eventually be a lightweight champion of Bellator. But um, at the end of the day, it's time will tell. I, I, I have to be patient. This in this sport, you got to be patient. But when my time is, it, when my time comes, that's my time. So uh, I'll be ready. Yeah. With Scott Coker mentioning this potential Grand Prix for lightweight next year, do you think uh, you know maybe you could get a spot in that? Yeah, for sure. If if that happens, I, I'd be more than happy to to join that and uh, and bring bring it to the top from there. Yeah, that gets real, right? Like there's a very clear path after that. Point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that that'd be really exciting. And a million dollars U.S. does nice in Canada too. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Right now the exchange rate is pretty bad, so yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> what, what do you think of the lightweight title fight coming up between uh, Pitbull and Nurmagomedov? I think that's really interesting. I, I, I'm excited to watch it. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be an exciting fight. Uh, it's it's quite interesting. Both of those guys are really skilled. Pitbull's a monster. He's been a monster. Him and his, his whole family have been. So, and uh, Usman's. He's legit, so we'll see. Yeah, they've got a pretty good family over there too with the yeah. Omega. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, and uh, I'm excited to see what how that plan pans out for sure. Just last thing, um, how do you see this fight go? I mean, do you have a, a goal of how you want to win this one, or do you just kind of let it play out? Hmm. I'm just gonna let it play out. I I believe I have the skills to to finish it anywhere, and uh, at the end of the day, uh, it'll come to me and. I think the fans will be excited when they see that. I, I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen, but I can tell you it's going to be spectacular. So uh, tune in on Saturday.